back now. Have you started your pension yet? If you're in your 20s or your 30s, putting money aside for 40 years' time may be the furthest thing from your mind. But financial advisor Paul Merriman from askpaul.ie is here to tell us why you need to get cranking sooner rather than later. The wisdom of old age, isn't it? If you could look back and tell your 20-year-old self, Stick a few quid aside. Yeah, I was lucky enough, actually. I was in a company pension plan when uh, I was in my 20s, so uh, that carried through when I left. And I think that was something to start off with, actually. Remember years ago, if you got a job and you were in a company pension scheme, I remember, mm -hmm. actually, when I got that job, it was Royal Sunday Lions Insurance in the beginning, and I remember my auntie saying to me, that's great, you're going to have a pension and the sick benefits and all yeah, the yeah. benefits that go. But then when you go out on your own, if you're self-employed, you lose all those. Or if you're not lucky enough to start in a company that gives you all that stuff, uh, you're kind of out in no man's land. And you don't have the benefits. Uh, you don't have the, the pension for argument's sake. Or if you're out on long-term sick, you but don't get paid. You're, you're not used to the culture of that few quid a month going out towards exactly, pension. Exactly, yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah, it's a big difference. It's hugely yeah, important, it though, is. isn't it? I suppose people get confused and they hear the word pension, whether you're 20, 30, 40. I have clients in my 50s that still kind of get freaked when we mention the word pensions to them. Pension is just a savings account. It's yeah. just an account. It's just like a current account. Yeah. The only good thing is that it gets a lot of tax relief. So if you're on the low rate of income tax, 20%, the revenue will give you back 20% for every contribution you put in, up to certain limits. And if you're on the higher rate of income tax, you know, you're going to get 40% back. So it's actually the best savings scheme ever invented and it's their best tax incentive ever invested, but we just don't have a way of connecting with people that often. I think the life assurance companies and the central bank have not done any favours of the amount of contracts there are or how complicated it gets. It's just a savings account. I mean, do you remember the SSIA? Yes. Yeah, yeah. SSIA, they were brilliant. <clears throat> people got the concept straight away. You put some money in, you got some back. You say, OK, it was a very short term, it's five years. Uh, but a pension is necessary, I always say this, is necessary on steroids. You get loads of tax relief and you get tax-free growth. Why is growth. that message not coming through I don't people, understand. I, I so, really it don't. is such a great product. Yeah, it's such an amazing it's product. It's the SSI, yeah. When it's you look at product. the state pension, €243 mm. Euro per mm. week. Yeah, it's just over 12 and a half grand a year, you, Annie. It makes you yeah. realise how important it is. It is, your yeah. So if, you're, if you get to retirement age and you're earning anything over 25 grand a year, which the majority of people should be, they're going to have over a 50% drop in their income when they get to 68. Instantly. Yeah, and the other thing you have to remember here is that the government have pushed the retirement age out from 65 to 68. In my opinion, if anyone's looking at it this morning, they're under kind of 45 years of age. That's going to be 70 and then 72 because we're living longer. Yeah. Uh, you know, so there's a massive requirement. Now, there is auto enrolment coming in as well in a few years' time, but it's going to take another six or seven years so even to get up to the proper rates. So, so the message this morning, if you, are, if you haven't got a pension, you need to investigate and put a few quid aside uh, on a monthly basis. It doesn't have to be that much, depending on your age. You know, anyone in their 20s, maybe 150, 200 quid a month, and you get your tax relief on that, so up to 40% so back. So I presume, Paul, in terms, like anything else, in terms of financial commitments, insurances and all that kind yeah. of stuff, the key is to shop around. See yeah. what you can afford and see what the pension yeah, well, can do for you. The big thing when it comes to pensions, and often a big pension providers, the big thing when it comes to pensions, the first one actually is your uh, charges. Uh, so there can be lace with charges, unfortunately. So it depends on where you're getting your advice from. So when you put your money into a pension, let's say you're putting €100 euro in, mm. the first charge you're going to be hit with is what's called an allocation charge. That's where someone takes a little bit of your money away from you. So someone say you've got a 95% allocation, that means 40% of your money is already gone, which is a disaster. So you're watching today and you have a pension, you need to get it reviewed, <clears throat> excuse me, and make sure you have 100% allocation that all your money's hitting your pension plan okay and that's really really so that's really important that's the first check, check. Of what anyone yeah you, have. you want to get as close to 100 percent allocation if not 100 percent that's the first rule second rule then is your annual management charge when you invest and when you put money into your pension you can leave it in a cash account which there's no risk as well by the way people get this scared thing that you have to risk your pension you don't you can just put it in a cash account if you're really risk averse and you don't want to invest in funds you just get your tax relief back, which I say just as 20 or 40%. Yeah, yeah. So you're kind of up a lot of money already. But if you do want to invest, and you should invest over the long term, if you've kind of got anything over 10 or 15 years away, you should be investing. And if you're doing that, you have an annual management charge. And you want to make sure your annual management charge isn't really high. You know, the average around from 1% to 1.25, up towards 1.75 is normal, depending on the funds. Like anything, depends on how good the fund is, the higher fund managers or the better fund managers nearly charge a little bit more. It doesn't mean you should yeah. get the better returns, but that's usually the way it goes. There are two things you need to look out for, really. Uh, and then shopping around, all the life insurance companies are out there and you're looking at the different rates. And but Paul, anyone... just before we run out of time, yeah. if you're in a job and you have your pension linked yeah. to your terms and your yeah. contract and you're moving jobs, yeah. can you take that particular pension with you? You can. This is a big one, Anna. So if, you're, if you take that, you can move. If you leave, you leave your job, you can move that into what's called a PRB a personal retirement bond in your own name 
And the great news for anyone watching this morning, if you have them, you can access them from 50 years of age. And we Very always good. recommend that to clients because they can take it out of 50, some of their pension at 50, maybe pay down the mortgage and use their mortgage repayments to go back into another pension plan. So if anyone has left the company pension plan, they need to get in contact. And as always, contact us on askpaul.ie to ask, find out what you can say, do. Askpaul.ie. Yeah, askpaul.ie on yeah. Facebook and Twitter. Anything. Reach out. Yeah. Ask and your finance. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Paul. <laughs> you never know that. what might come in. <laughs> to say that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Thank Thank you, Paul. Still Thank you. to come, we have a mac and cheese recipe oh. coming up in the kitchen. Proper comfort food, isn't yeah. it? And who's set to become the winner of Ireland's Got Talent 2019? We'll be crossing live to Laura at the Helix.